Hi guys, and I'm back with a Pump Pom Pon Reborn Baby Doll Box Opening. And um, this is an alternative to a Reborn. A Reborn is made by an artist, we all know that. But a lot of them um, in the ads say Reborn Baby Doll. That's why I always say alternative or a different kind. And this is the wrong box, buddy. I grabbed the wrong box. Give me that box, please. Which one? That box. I grabbed the wrong box. The wrong baby. Which one? Right there on top. This one? Yep. It's actually... I know, it's not, a different company. It's not Pon Pon. It's... She um, messed up. Okay. It's Nicery. See, and it says Reborn Baby Dolls. I don't want to open this other one yet because it's compared to another one. I have to have that doll with it. So this is the Nicery. And I've been opening from both companies. I'm getting them on Amazon. Oops. And I almost gave it all away. This is a different kind of baby. This one comes with... I think the kitties are probably trying to steal this blankie. It's like a rough kind of almost like a starched curtain feel on one side but the other side is very plush with these multicolored tan with a multicolored polka dot there yeah polka dots polka dots which should be cute for um background of photos things like that and we're going to use it to cover this baby's face to unbox her in regular reborn style. So she comes with, whoops, first she comes with a birth certificate. You can fill it all in. It says mummy instead of mommy, like they say in England, mummy and daddy. And reborn baby doll with nursery. The, and with the U? Yep. That's like in. England they call pacifiers dummies <laughs> yeah this one has um it must have been a bracelet on her but it fell off and it has their little nicery symbol come on focus there we go and it says handcrafted by nicery everlasting friend to you reborn baby doll um oh and the other side is a little bassinet isn't that cute so we'll keep that with her paperwork and she came with this cute bottle which is a pink top and it looks like a bird with almost like well, little hearts and diamonds it's a different kind of bottle never seen one that kind of bird all right so let's get into her unboxing now, she's a little bit more petite. She is, I'd say, a small newborn, but she has different features than the other ones that I have un unboxed. First, she has this tool, really pretty romper on, and it has, I might need the scissors, buddy. I can't get her legs undone. They're taped and foam. Let me see. Please? Yeah, I don't want to hurt her vinyl. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, got to do a little snippet here. Sometimes when you need help, I help. That's why you're a little honey. Mhm. Mm Look how delicate. And get on out here to help you. Mhm. Mm There's elastic right here on her outfit, but look how delicate her limbs are. I mean, her feet are so tiny. I don't know if she would be, a, I'd say, a very small newborn. Maybe even fit preemie. She's about 20 inches, but she's just so petite. I mean, look at her foot compared to my thumb. Until I've been in paints today. Look at the details. She's got little wrinkles on her feet. So cute. So, you can feel right here that it's firmer. It's not squishy. We will find out. 
So our outfit is done in snaps and it goes up to this really pretty um, like lacelet, whoops, I want to show our face, lacelet flowers and little flowers made of tulle. So we're going to have to get, we see your dough suede body here. Sorry. You're going to see in a second how, My stuff fell by accident. okay, shh. You're going to see in a second here, I'm trying to get all our details in here because she's really different. I've seen Reborns made this way, but some of them, but I haven't seen any, these are hard to get off. I haven't seen any regular dolls made this way. I'm going to have to get all these little scraps for me, buddy. She's got her pinky up like tea time. Oh, there is little mess up with her nail paint you can see like they tried to do her thumb but I can um, fix that I'm not gonna send her back after my last exchange <laughs> ended up getting the second doll was worse um, she has a it's more of a suede version of the dough suede bodies they used to have and she has this really cute bracelet on but it's not elastic it's on a thread so that I'm gonna have to try and get this foaming off around her without breaking the bracelet so I guess they should have thought ahead on that one a little bit let's see I guess we're gonna have to cut the foaming here and take it off in two pieces. A parent would definitely need to help a child open this doll. Okay. Oh, she even has a little vein painted right there. I haven't seen any with, um, see a little vein right there? She has a closed fist on this hand. Little details. Oh, she's got veining right there, too. Which are basically making Y's, upside down Y's, but that's how the Reborns started with veining. It wasn't as detailed as it is today. Okay, so we're going to have to unsnap. You're going to see the secret right here. Can you see this, buddy? She has a doe suede body on the arms, which are jointed. And then it stops right here and becomes this is going to be hard to we're going to have to try and take her outfit off this outfit is quite snug on her her like the length of it there isn't much give it's lined with like a cotton inside of the lacelet and I had to try and get it off without breaking her bracelet elastic on the sleeves but it's just the length of the outfit isn't very big so trying to get it off so I'm not going to take it all the way all the way off because really I'm just trying to show Sophie. I know we love you you love your baby Sophie so she's got a real had, baby diaper on years. this is pretty with flowers and little starbursts oops forgot <laughs> She has a tummy and a back, and it says so MPK tiny. collection, and there's a zip tie. She has a little divot and a bum, a and bum she bum. she has um, girl bits in the front. She has a bum bum. Yep. We just call it a bum bum. And then her legs. On this video. Okay, we're gonna have to take her outfit totally off right now oh my goodness look at the back of the outfit hold on I'll fix it we can see the length the outfit wasn't very big so she has this embroidery here the little tool here a little collar and it snaps up the front this little romper look at the bum it's got all these little tool little flowers on the bum of the outfit okay like roses. so I'm gonna show you 
Let's see if we can get her legs to turn. Okay. So a little tough to turn at first. You can see the details well. You obviously wouldn't turn them too too much. But so if you want to have her and like a little diaper and a t-shirt, you could because she has you know the uh, she can show her belly so if you want to do like a little short uh, you know a baby t-shirt versus a onesie in a photo all right so, so I guess she is smaller than 20 inches I'd say she's maybe 19 and I think maybe putting some here what they used to use, I think it was powder in between the joints to make them. Maybe we'll try a little bit of baby powder or cornstarch. I know someone said um, nail polish, clear nail polish in between. I, I don't want to do that though. All right, but up here her joints work wonderfully, of course. So she is a petite on the top. So let's get to the best part, her face. She has a magnet pacifier, which has some kind of dot on it right there. Oh, it's where the clear paint didn't wasn't covered. I don't know if you can see that, come on, focus. See it right there. But you can put little stickers or anything to make it cute. She has a really pretty headband, which is way too big for her head. I will tell you how to f um, you can fix that on preemies I will double wrap like a figure eight and then put them on plus I found some smaller hair ties which you can use as preemie headbands and I will do that in another video but I, I bought in ones just like these from China and her lip paint looks like it's bleeding you know in different areas she has a little bit of red under the edge of her nose she has closed eyed and she has like you know factory rooted so she has this foofy hair which I should have detangler hair but yeah I'm gonna have to grab the detangler <coughs> This is the time you should be talking to him, buddy. So who's ready for Halloween? Me. I already got some costumes. What are you going to be for Halloween? A FNAF character. They can't hear you when you're whispering like that, buddy. A FNAF character like Bonnie, Freddy, or Foxy. Yeah. I got, over the summer... Are you able to get, like, a guitar thing for Bonnie? And a microphone for mm -hmm. Freddy. Over the summer, I got some FNAF, which is, I'm dressing this baby on her head, trying to pull this out. <laughs> so, so you can see her details. Fold the diaper down. She is, there's like some polyfill inside, but she is a little bit weighted. I mean, she's not light. She's about three pounds. But I'd say she definitely weighed... She's got a bigger head, but her body's petite. So I'd say she'd definitely wear a preemie. You know, like a preemie onesie. But you're going to have to get things that are going to go over her bigger noggin. I think her poofy hair is making her noggin look bigger. Okay, get in there. Get your arm in there. But I think all this pretty stuff, they should have done like a pink bl blanket. You know, I think they were going with all the, or if they did white in that fuzzy with the colored dots, because this is white with the colored dot, colored, um, tool, but at least the, once it's on, the snaps are easy to do. So over the summer on Amazon, I had gotten his Five Nights at Freddy 
costumes because he likes to do dress up play and stuff like that so we had gotten them you know off season at a better deal and then of course I bought them a little bit bigger so he can um, in Vermont you never know what the weather is going to be normally we have to wear winter jackets underneath to go um, there she is with her passy to go trick-or-treating I think it's really but a couple of years ago on Christmas Day instead of having snow Santa had to go get Jake a scooter on Christmas Eve instead of bringing him a sled because it was 50 degrees and no snow on the ground we were walking around outside with t-shirts on we had pants on but just t-shirts no jackets and everything because it was just so warm so I think once you wet it down you know see how it's foofy it's you know condition treatment if I did my special conditioning treatment I need to do a video on that um, how I make it and what I use her hair would be like silk but you can moisturize this um, kind of hair all right so we're just going to style it a little bit just give it to lay down we'll do the little figure eight basically it's just a flip twist and then try and make it one maybe that won't work sometimes if you can't get it over their head like that you can Put it where you want it, hold it in place, then do the flip twist. Sounds complicated. And then, well, nope, her head's too big to do the flip twist. So we'll just use this one for now the way it is. It's way too baggy. Well, we just found out that her hair will curl up. So if you went like, got it damp and just you know, kind of finger tossled it. You will get little waves. See the waves in it? So you don't have to have it straight. And then you let it air dry that way. So we're just going to put her headband on normal for right now. Let's move these extras. Play out her blankie that she came with. and lay her out so here's her dainty little feet and her cute little arms and her chubby little face get closer so you can see more details she does have hand applied lashes right in the lash line there's a little face so if I put a little cute pink little flower sticker right there that would be cute she has a headband and she came with this little bracelet which I think it might roll off now I got the, all the foam off it might roll off around but I don't want to break it they should have put it on elastic instead of a string it's really shining in the camera it's actually um, Wow, they're really shining. It's like a pearl and a turquoise blue, but it's really glaring. Here she's got the pinky up for tea time. And let's see. In the back, it has... Oh, it says something on here. It says, Charlotte by Simon Lawrence. Simon Lawrence. And then it says, DDAC number 2, 2008. Must have been whoever sculpted it or... Her head is hard to turn. <laughs> okay, not turning her head. I was going to try and turn her head to the side, you know, and do like a her laying there, but her head is very squishy. There's no, so maybe I'll undo the zip tie, put some weighting in her head, and but I love the little tool on the bum. It's really cute. Put some weighting in her head. And um, that way 
not to sound weird, but when I have her head off, I can wrap the head itself in a towel and do a deeper conditioning on her hair without seeping into the skull. Uh, and then I can also put a magnet inside the head for little bows to magnet. But I think she's so cute, but if I replace the neck zip tie, you can have I can have it a little looser so I can turn her head easier. And her limbs are still quite stiff to try and move, so I'll have to figure that out. But her hair keeps getting fussed up. I'll turn you this way. There you go. See if we can get her all in one shot. Almost. Let me see. We'll do it over. There we go. So that is this little baby. Oh, and she came with, with yeah, with, with that little bottle. So with that said, like, comp, subscribe, and as usual, happy hauling and dolly hugs.